stops. I mean, stuff is fantastic. I mean, what she's done now with kind of getting fit and getting back to where she kind of once felt she was. I mean, that takes a lot of guts and a lot of discipline. I've never been particularly thin. Um, I think when I was, you know, 16, 17, I was quite small. But as you got older, I mean, I always looked at myself as being bigger. I never really saw myself as being small. But after I had Logan, I, I, didn't, lose the, I didn't lose the baby weight. I mean, I literally, I just kept it on. I really felt trapped in a body that I wasn't meant to be in and it was it was immensely frustrating for me no matter that no matter what I was doing it really wasn't helping and it re I really got fed up as I said this time last year when I stood on the scales and realized that I had gone over 180 pounds I've never been over 180 pounds in my life I'm 39 I want to remain competitive on the tour I cannot do it if I continue to get bigger we go to Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore, all really hot countries. You can't play golf to the best of your ability if you're not in good shape. My initial goals, and it started out as a New Year's resolution. Now my New Year's resolution was to be 155 pounds and be a size eight. That was what I wanted to do because that was, that was what I remember being the smallest I'd been. Once my trainer had put in an idea in my head, said maybe I should just give up dairy and see how that goes. I'm like, you know what, whilst I'm giving up dairy, I may as well give up bread, rice, pasta and potatoes. So in those first five weeks, I lost 20 pounds, basically. Yeah, it was hard, but I did it. And then once I got through that, I added rice and then I added uh, some bread. Obviously, I keep it to a minimum. And what I found was that I achieved every goal that I possibly set weight-wise and size-wise by the end of September. So I thought, well, where do I go from here? And like I said, I had to reset and put new goals in place. And I started to train more. So I started to go to the gym more often. And even though I only lost another, I mean, I weigh 145 pounds now. So even though I only lost another 10 pounds, it was still two more close sizes. So I went from a size 12 to a size four. So really my goal now is to continue to transform my body. I want to look fairly buff is, is probably the right word for it. I want to see some good muscle definition. As I said, I mean, it's fairly, it'd be fairly impressive to achieve that as I'm getting older, but I'd, I'd like to do it. It's been well documented that players' games tend to go to pot when, when, when they lose weight. And I don't think I was any exception to that last year, a year that I wasn't happy with on the golf course, but obviously very happy with what I achieved off the golf course. But I know now that it was primarily because my speed had increased. By, by becoming thinner, my body was able to move faster. So the swing that I had was, was a swing that I had used when I was bigger in order to generate power and speed. So now I could generate power and speed more naturally anyway, the swing that I had was causing me issues. So much of what happens on a golf course is out of your control. You never know what's going to happen. Somebody could play great, somebody other could play bad, you could get a bad lie, you could get a good lie, the weather conditions might work, might not work in your favour. So much of what happens is out of your control. So my goal is to give 100%, no matter what, in every aspect of my game, every day that I'm out there. So every day that I'm working at my golf, I'm giving it 100%. Today, today I gave it 100%. This interview, I'm going to give 100% to. When I go home, I'm going to give 100% to my son. And then when I go to bed, I can finally relax. Knowing that, to, knowing that I gave everything I had. I didn't leave anything out on the table. I didn't scrimp. I did everything I could. And I'll do the same tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. Because I know that at this stage of my life, this is all I've got. I've got to give it a go. I've never given it 100% ever in my golf, to my golf ever. And I think that now's the time. I've got five, 10, 10 years max playing in me. Five years, 10, I don't, who knows? Who knows how much I've got? Which is why 100% is important to me now.